Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are both advocates of mental health campaigning and made separate impactful statements about the topic this week, but will we ever see the Queen sharing her thoughts on mental well-being? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, along with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, are great supporters of mental health awareness. Prince Harry Prince William and Kate all founded the Heads Together Foundation in 2009 to encourage people to be more open about their mental health. They were later joined by Meghan as a patron for the charity, which supports grassroots projects through grant funding, after she became engaged to Prince Harry in November 2017. In a bid to open up communications on mental health, the young royals often feature as fantastic examples of leading the conversation in public. This week. Meghan spoke about the connection between a good diet and mental well-being on Tuesday at the 50th anniversary of Prince Charles's investiture. The Duchess of Sussex, who is heavily pregnant with her first child, chatted to Falklands veteran Simon Weston about the problems of the U.S. food industry. Recalling their conversation, he said, she is pregnant, and obviously wants to make sure she is eating the right things, not just for the health of the baby but also its mental health. We are what we eat, and our mental health is connected with what we eat. Prince Harry also gave a speech about mental health for We Day UK, saying, helping to normalize the conversation after all mental illness is about recovery. Mental health is about consciousness. Mental fitness is about well-being. To be happy is to be mindful, mindful of your feelings, mindful of your surroundings, and mindful of the 7.7 billion other humans that inhabit this planet. The younger royals' open approach to mental health is in huge contrast to older royals who are more reserved about sharing emotional insights. As the UK head of state, the Queen has never spoken about mental health publicly and little is known about her own personal experience with it. Jessilsa from Royal Central says she doubts we would see the Queen speak out about her mental health in the same way as Meghan, Harry, William, and Kate. She told Express.co.uk, I think it's because they come from a generation where it wasn't considered normal to talk about your feelings in such an open manner, or to admit that you might be struggling, and not because she doesn't approve of it. However, she said that is not to say subtle references cannot be made. She said, that being said, I do think we hear about it in veiled ways, like when she referred to Prince Philip as her strength and stay in an anniversary speech. I think that was her way of saying that it hasn't always been easy or glamorous but she's happy to have her husband by her side to help her through those difficult moments. The commentator added the younger royal's ability to speak so warmly and empathetically about mental health has helped to show a side of them the monarchy not previously seen before. She said, by doing this kind of work and focusing on something that affects so many, it's showing that the younger generation is here to listen and engage and to help make changes that work for everyday people instead of just taking on massive amounts of patronages or attending events for the sake of attending events.